Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this tutorial, we will discuss about the design environment of my crystal report for enterprise. So, my report design canvas is used to design the structure of your report. We have two major modes in which we can work, which is the structure mode and the page mode, which are available to us to define the layout of the report. So, my structure mode will always show the structure, whereas my page mode is for reviewing the report. So, let's see in the system how does my report design canvas look like. So, if I go here and if I open up my crystal report tool, so this is the my crystal report design canvas. So, my crystal report design canvas, it will show us the different options to place the elements like charts, test elements, data objects in the report. Here, we can have the option of setting up the preferences for the design canvas. So, if I go to the edit here and if I go to the preferences, so in this design canvas tab, I have the option of setting up the design canvas for my crystal report. So, here I can set up the measurement unit, whether I want to use the centimeter, inches or the points. After that, if I want to show the ruler options, so this ruler option will display a ruler above the report canvas. So we can change the unit of measurement by changing the measurement unit option here. After that, we have the default formatting. So whether we want to auto detect it or whether we want to make it fixed. Then we have option of snap to. So we can either snap to the element or we can snap to the section. Similarly, we can set up the page break options, we can set up the breadcrumb like whether we want to show it as a dynamic, always on or always off. So here we can set up the options. After that, if we go to the main design here, so I have the structure mode and the page mode. So my structure mode is used to provide an environment for designing the report. It will provide the structure and the instructions for creating the report. So when we place any object in the report, like we have the product price and the product number here, so we can add these objects to this uh, to this report and we can see them in the structure mode. We can add or delete the objects or we can apply the formulas on those objects. Each object in this is represented with a frame. So if I click on here, so this is my frame. And after that, it has various components here like the report header, page header, body, report footer and the page footer. So my report header area, it is used to add the report title at the top or any other information which we want to place at the beginning of the report. After that we have the page header. So this option is used to present the information at the top of each page like the document heading, chapter name, page header doesn't come in the report header. Then we have the body. So this is used to show the body of the report. All the report data comes in this section. Then we have the report footer. So this is used to present the information at the end of the reports like the totals and the other things. Then we have the page footer. So this is used to present the page numbers or any other information which we want to show at the end of each page. After that, we have the page mode. So page mode will show me the actual data of the report. When the report is published or printed, it will allow you to change the formatting of the report with the actual data and the changes will be immediately visible in the report. Then we have the data explorer window on the left hand side. In the data explorer window, we have five major sections. First one is my result object. So my result object is something which will show me all the objects that have been added to my report. We can add the drag objects and we can add it to the report. After that, we have the formulas. So if we want to add any custom calculations so all the formulas will be shown under this area. Then we have the parameters. So it will show all the parameters that has been created for the report. 
then we have the running totals so if we want to show any running totals in the report we can create them and they will appear under the running total section then we have the predefined objects so if I want to show the data time if you want to show the time zone if I want who is the author what is the last modification date so these are the predefined objects which we can directly drag and drop into a report and we can use them so this is my data explorer after that we have the option of outline so if I go to the outline it is used to see the tree structure of the report then we have the group tree so my group tree is used to see the tree view of all the groups and the subgroups in the report then we have the find option so if if we, I want to search for a specific value in the report I can type in the word and I can search with the help of this find option so these are all the different options which are available to us in the report design canvas of the crystal report for enterprise thank you